Hey guys, well we all, so welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a bonus love reading for Aries placements. So if you have Aries as your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury or North Node in your birth chart, this reading will be for you. So I could be reading for yourself or your love interest. So please bear that in mind, especially for your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements and theirs as well if you happen to know of them. Guys, this will be a timeless reading, so it's whenever you come across this reading is where it's most likely to resonate and not necessarily just when I post the video. And the messages are general, so with the messages, please only take what you feel resonates and leave the rest. So guys, um, I'm doing a bonus love reading for you because at the beginning of the year, I had announced that any of the next seven day timeless individual zodiac readings got over 10k views, I would give a bonus reading. So you guys did that with your last next seven day read. So here we are with a bonus love reading and I hope you guys enjoy. So we're gonna get into this now. This is the Modern Witch Tarot that we're using today. So Angels of Love and Light, we please have clear and concise messages for Aries placements. What do they need to know in regards to love for this timeless love reading? What do they need to know? What are the current energies in regards to love? Please and thank you. Guys, if you enjoy the video, please hit the like button, share, subscribe, comment down below. I love reading your comments. So thank you so much for your love and support for myself and the channel. I really appreciate it. We're going to get into your read, just cutting up the deck now. Okay, Aries, what's going on? Wow. <laughs> Knight of Wands, so... Fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you're coming out very strongly here. Um, or some of you could be dealing with um, an individual that has heavy, high, uh, wow, fire placements as well. Okay, and I nearly said the word higher. So I'm picking up on this kind of higher love connection between you and someone. So somebody could be getting ready to make their way to you pretty quickly, might I add. Um, or you're feeling very much inclined to do of this uh, with someone. Obviously, just take it how it resonates, guys. But there is movement forward, and it's happening in a way that could be a little bit out of the blue. But um, I feel like there's going to be a kind of excitement and positivity on both ends um, to do with this particular connection. So there's somebody who's gaining uh, confidence at this time, you know, within themselves or gaining confidence to come forward to take action in regards to this connection, to be bold, to be daring, or this could be on the other foot here, guys, where somebody is coming forward towards you or you're going towards them, however it goes, guys, okay? But let's, uh, let's get some cards on the table. So someone very passionate here. Someone has been um, feeling the heat in this connection with you. Even if you guys I'm hearing are at a distance, there's a strong soul connection between the two of you. I am getting that. With the Empress, wow, Taurus Libra energy. We have Divine Feminine coming through as well. If that is something that resonates with you or maybe someone that you're dealing with. But there is somebody who's coming forward who wants a strong commitment with you, a healthy, steady, loving relationship. Um, yeah, somebody is definitely uh, kind of looking at you or viewing you as this kind of god or goddess, um, the type of person who I'm hearing deserves to be worshipped here. As I say that, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, there's, there's somebody who's coming forward towards you with this sense of passion, right? To show off this attraction of how they feel for you. And this person may have very deep feelings, but they may have a tendency at times to be kind of more reserved in regards to their feelings, but they're gonna be making their feelings very much well known to you in regards to what they want with you and the connection and how they see this moving on forward here. So yeah, there's definitely someone here if um, they had a tendency to maybe put their career or their work or certain uh, projects, um, you know, first and foremost in their life and put love on the bit of the back burner here. 
somebody is switching up their priority. There's a change coming in. As I say that, we have 555 on my timer. Oh my gosh, and did you hear the honk outside as confirmation? <laughs> so something to do with love and relationship is, prior, is I'm getting prioritized now, is changing up, okay? And this is really beautiful, but someone views you as the one that they want to be with, right? There's nobody else. I feel like this person and yourself get a lot of attention elsewhere. Very attractive and not just physically, but energetically. You have the sense of charisma, magnetism about you. The way that you carry yourself or hold yourself is very alluring here. You have many admirers, but I feel like this person does as well. But I feel like you both really only have eyes for each other. Okay. But with the moon coming through, um, wow, I nearly said Sagittarius energy, which is really intriguing because I do believe in the next few days um, after I go to post of this, there's a full moon in Sagittarius. So something could be coming through in regards to this, um, you know, closing out of a moon cycle here. So Sagittarius moon, um, sun or rising may also be significant and we have pisces energy as well with 717 so there's been this deeper connection between you and someone right but it hasn't physically been shown on the surface in the physical 3d reality so there have been the odd you know fears or doubts or insecurities or questions as to whether something is going to be shown through but i'm getting that it is going to be illuminated soon, right? Yeah, with the Ace of Wands. Look at this, guys. So, yeah, absolutely. Somebody is definitely feeling the heat, definitely feeling very driven, very motivated, inspired to have of a new beginning with you. And with the Ace of Wands and the Empress, you know, this can signify birthing in a new chapter in your life. It could also mean pregnancy. That's only going to resonate for some of you, but somebody views you as someone that they definitely could have of a family with right oh my goodness with the emperor the, on the other side of the deck guys this is your energy aries but also divine masculine divine feminine so i feel like there is this beautiful initiation of a reunion or a union coming together very soon that's going to be filled with um, really good chemistry. There's a lot of com um, compatibility to do with the connection, right? I'm hearing like mummy, daddy vibes, okay? So there's definitely someone who views you as like, right, I really want to kind of have this, you know, settled, okay? But you don't see how this person's going to be coming in. This person could be quite strategic, this could be somebody who is, has, I'm getting, is an, a bit of an overthinker, right? But that's only because they want everything to be in a particular way. So they they may have been someone who tried to take more control of a situation, okay? Or they didn't take very much control of your connection in the past. And now that's switching around and they're taking connect, uh, the connection more seriously and they're taking control. And they're on their way but this is going to be like a connection that you may have felt like you could only dream of but this person is definitely fantasizing yearning for more with you as i say that knight of wands okay coming out again with the tower goodness me airy scorpio energy and more fire coming through and i love the fact that i kept this card on the table so it's like the emperor wanted to sit with the empress okay so you both are very much indeed feeling um a lot more energy kind of surging in this connection even if you're not necessarily you know with each other physically but there's definitely a lot of sensual kind of tension in the air like somebody is um realizing that they just i'm hearing don't want to be away from you I just heard, I just don't work without you, okay? I just don't work without you. So somebody feels like this sense of this want, this need, this desire to be with you. And I'm not getting in a codependent, unhealthy way, nothing like that. But this person is definitely feeling 
certain type of way from being away from you and i'm hearing that they just don't like it at all they want to be around you like all the time if they could but like i said not in a clingy codependent unhealthy toxic way okay nine of swords yeah this person's had many sleepless nights with the nine of swords okay about this connection keeping these desires or these secret feelings to themselves but they're getting ready to reveal all and this person is going to be re-emerging into your life if there is history between the two of you or if there isn't a past connection going on here there could be somebody brand new that shows up okay you may meet this person through work or you already work with this person or this person could be potentially a friend and you know they haven't got kind of past the friend zone maybe you put them in the friend zone and it's like okay i don't want to be in this friend zone i want to show them that i'm serious about this person and this connection right so leo taurus scorpio and aquarius maybe sagittarius energy coming through with the five of wands whoever you're dealing with knows that there is um some sort of feeling of competition you know around you they know that you're a hot commodity here they know that you're i'm hearing an asset you're an asset here and so therefore with the chariot this person's very focused on coming through to let you know look um i know that there's been distance between us either physically emotionally and what have you but i want to overcome all of that i want to know where you're at with the situation i just want to kind of put whatever issues there were in the past to rest I want us to be able to, I mean, start off on the right foot, I just heard. So some of you definitely had issues with communication with this person, but that's getting all I'm hearing ironed out now with the Wheel of Fortune. So the, the tables are turning in regards to this connection, whether you, you know, have history with this person or if they're somebody brand new, they may have had, you know, their own things going on in their life that they may have not necessarily opened up to you about as of yet. But for you to understand where they're coming from and why they're feeling the way that they have or this kind of built up in energy in them, they're going to be expressing it. They may just feel like it's the right time to get certain things off their chest. And with the Ace of Pentacles, this person is very serious about you and wanting to lay down a proper foundation in regards to this connection. They want something very secure, something very stable here. Okay. They may also have had um, difficulties in the past with disconnecting from certain individuals, okay? But I feel that this person has worked through whatever they needed to, to close out old cycles here, to disconnect and move themselves on forward, right? Yeah, with the Seven of Swords and the Death card. Yeah, look at this. So Scorpio energy coming through. So there's definitely been a karmic or karmic cycles coming to a close or certain connections here. They're not interested in dealing with any other people here, especially third parties, if that is something that potentially resonates. Um, someone wants to be very transparent and honest with you and open about what they went through, okay? What difficulties that they had. But this person may have had issues with trusting others maybe even feeling like they couldn't trust you on some sort of love um on some well some sort of level in regards to love sorry i'm getting all kind of like you know something to do with the throat chakra could be significant but this person wants a major change up i feel like this person may have dealt with infidelity in the past okay and that really got them down or maybe this is something that you've dealt with in the past and it has been difficult to kind of build yourself back up at a, uh, wow, up again. Wow, if I can talk, goodness me. Um, to then be able to have this open and receptivity to love and to, um, you know, give it a go. What else is going on here, please? What else? Wow, justice, Libra energy. So yeah, there is definitely someone who's very serious about this connection. They definitely see um, marriage in the future with you, right? 
This person may have had a bit of a reputation in the past. I'm not getting so much like a player type of vibe, but I'm getting somebody who kind of wasn't really interested in getting committed with someone. I don't feel like they had a massive roster of people that they were dealing with or anything like that, but I'm getting more to the point that they are very driven or focused on their career. I'm getting like a maybe a workaholic type of vibe. And this person is just like, look, you know, I've managed to kind of get to the top of the tree of whatever I've been doing. And how do I still feel this void in my life? You know, this person here actually, you know, try to have certain connections where they kept them at arm's length, like not get too emotionally involved. But actually deep down, this person loves the idea of tradition. And I feel like this person's realizing that you and them share very similar values, similar beliefs, you know, wanting of that sense of um, monogamy here. And um, yeah, look at that, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So it's like you're both wanting of this tradition, this monogamy and etc., but still wanting to be able to have your kind of freedom here to live your life with how you'd like to. That sense of independence is very, very important for you both, okay? But I feel that you both, you know, can have this very strong interdependent relationship, maybe even marriage, okay? Where you've got your own thing, they've got their own thing, but yet you're just kind of, you know, cheering each other on in regards to your certain goals, ambitions and dreams here, you know, of a real support system to each other. What else have we got here, please? This, per this person could be someone who travels a lot or loves to travel, or maybe you are, okay? Or you both are very much into this. The moon, Pisces energy coming through. Yeah, definitely. Somebody has been very silent in regards to letting their feelings be known that they want actually a deeper commitment with you, right? Eight of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So yeah, there's definitely somebody who's walking away or moving on away from a particular lifestyle because they didn't feel emotionally fulfilled. They felt like there was this void, okay, with whatever they, they were doing. And so therefore they're realizing that the, the, the void that they feel is because you haven't necessarily been physically present in their life. And so therefore they're ready to leave. I'm hearing their old life to change and to transform, which I feel like this person has been in the process of doing in order to have of the stability and security with you here with this 10 of pentacles. They want to move on to this with you, but you have no idea because they have not necessarily voiced of you know, their feelings in regards to that yet. But I feel intuitively, you know, deep down that this person is absolutely wanting this with you, right? But you're just kind of retreating as of right now, focusing on yourself and letting this person take the lead, take the reins of the control of the connection to move it on forward. Because you may have been someone that was kind of doing most of the work here to bring things into balance for you both and you couldn't necessarily see or understand why this person wasn't putting in action the same way that you were and this was making you feel incredibly stressed and making you feel like you know you were either being kind of avoided or neglected in some way or you may have felt isolated you may have not felt understood and you may have got like a little bit defensive here with the seven of wands and I'm feeling that, you know, you are fighting for this connection, but this person wasn't kind of fighting in for it the same way that you were in the past. But I feel that I'm hearing switcheroo. There's been a switcheroo between the two of you now. And now this person is going to communicate with you to say, actually, this is something that really is truly worth fighting for. I'm, I'm hearing, I'm sorry, I didn't see it before. Yeah. With the ace of swords. That's the truth. Somebody is now getting ready to speak and say of their truth, of how they truly feel about you, 
right? But you both may have had to walk away from each other, okay? In order to go on your own personal paths here, like own journeys, to find out more about yourselves before getting together in regards to having of this soul growth. It was completely necessary. But even if this is somebody brand new, you know, and they just come in, then you've probably gone through that kind of similar journey, but you just haven't necessarily met as of yet. So when this person comes through and opens up about what they went through in their past, it's like, gosh, that kind of sounds a little bit similar to what I've gone through, you know? And there's that kindness, their compassion, the empathy there with that Queen of Cups. And you guys will just kind of, you know, really get on very well. As I say that with the sun, Leo energy and the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, yeah, that, that's really beautiful as well. Like a strong soulmate um, energy here as well with a past life connection or a twin flame obviously coming through as well. Just take what you feel resonates, guys. One more card for this reading, please. For Aries. One more. What's to go underneath this Nine of Swords, please and thank you. Yeah, Nine of Wands, that wanted to show through as well with the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy and the world. Leo, Taurus, Scorpio and Aquarius coming through. Bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces energy. This is really significant, okay? So 999 may also be... Um, a number that you're seeing pretty often at this time, which is a really good indicator of coming to a closure of a big, big cycle in your life, especially with this world. So somebody is definitely being nervous about getting ready to talk to you. There could have been a little bit of, you know, spying I'm, I'm hearing on social media, just wondering how the other person is getting on. I feel like this could be this person doing this with you rather than the other way around. Um, but obviously take that to however that may pertain to you. Um, but you guys are very intuitive and you've known for a long time, even if you haven't had certain things show up in your physical 3D reality, that there's something that's closing up in order for a renewal to take place or a new chapter to begin in your life. You've known for a while that things would be getting different for you both. Okay. With the Four of Cups and the Chariot and the Queen of Cups with the Ten of Wands with the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy, okay? So you guys are going through a transition right now and a pretty big one for that. You know, you both have had to learn to kind of unblock of your heart chakra here, to open up, to give and receive love, you know, learn the lesson of self-love close off certain things in your life that have been, you know, very draining, very challenging here, but you've been overcoming all the obstacles that you've needed to. We have double cancer coming through, so there could be something very significant about cancer, and I'm hearing Leo season. So I'm picking up here something to do with also... Yeah, I'm, I'm picking up something to do with um, mid-June, mid-June, July is really coming through a lot. So like the beginning of the summer, obviously it depends where you guys are in the world. But somebody knows that you're not one to be taking any ish, right? You've gone through too much. For someone just to be coming into your life and then to kind of dart back off again like you're someone who's sitting in this very strong position of knowing of your worth knowing what you deserve not settling for less setting boundaries saying no to certain things that you're not comfortable with okay you're ready and able to speak of your truth and to deliver it in a way with such conviction that just comes through as across as very powerful and very alluring actually because the thing is there may have been times where you may have stumbled you know with your words and trying to project out there of your feelings right 
especially when you have felt uncomfortable or certain things have been feeling a bit of a mess, but you've not been sure about what to do with the situation. It's taken a lot for you to stand up for yourself, to be counted. Um, and I feel like you're now ready. You're now ready for this next level in your life. And that does include getting into a long term healthy connection with someone that could potentially lead to, you know, moving into uh, in together. I'm hearing starting of a family or blending of families if you already have children or if the family uh, well, family unit is just you and this person with some pets or getting um, married here, getting pregnant, if that resonates, you know, all of these different things. Maybe even being open to the idea of traveling with this person, going on holidays. But this person wants to travel with you. They want to spend some good quality time with you. It's like get to know you all over again. This person finds you very mysterious. Um, you know, you keep your cards quite close to your chest and you open yourself up, you know, to people when you feel like it's kind of obviously safe to, to do so, which obviously is the right thing to do. You know, you don't feel obligated to kind of share of certain pieces of information you know, just with anybody, you know, it's kind of like you vet people first. But there could be someone as well who actually wants to work with you and collaborate in maybe business. So there could be also um, a lovely romantic partnership, but also a business partnership with this person. It's like you bring certain elements to the table that this person doesn't bring and they bring certain things that you don't necessarily bring or like, not like, I'm getting more to the point where, try and let me phrase that, there are certain skills, talents, gifts, abilities that you innately have. Like for instance, some of you could be very much more spiritually tapped in, you know, you could be... Um, intuitives you could be empaths you could be healers you could be psychics however this goes and then this person is you know very much more in the practical um material kind of 3d kind of world they they know how things kind of work out in that way they are someone that is very organized in their finances they're very disciplined you know it's like you're both kind of masters of your own thing and then having this power couple couple kind of vibe okay coming together and i'm hearing no cap right <laughs> no cap that this is very serious between the two of you and that you're meant to be like rising i'm hearing in the ranks together and doing things in a traditional way but still have an unconventional kind of um twist on things so it's a really lovely balance i'm getting strong yin and yang energy you know, alpha fe uh, female, alpha male energy. Um, you know, there's just something about you both, which is kind of coming across as very otherworldly. You know, other people, you know, may be feeling a little bit pressed when you guys are together, maybe even a little bit jealous, or maybe feeling a certain type of way of, you know, well, why can't this happen for me, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And it's like, well, if they did work and healing on themselves like you have and this person has, then, you know, yeah, eventually there would be the alignment to have a connection that is similar to yours, right? But, you know, you guys have been putting in the work every day to get to where you are now. And I feel there's this, you know, this coming together, which is really, really beautiful. But yeah, so communication is... Um, very very um significant here so this person may call you text you send you a dm or an email okay relatively soon but this person is going to be very to the point actually with their communication a little bit to the point where you're like not kind of thrown off guard but you appreciate the directness of how this person feels because there may have been a little bit of wishy-washy communication in the past. And um, so there's this switch where this person is just like, right, they're feeling more comfortable in themselves. And 
they're able now I'm hearing to be able to vocalize and say what it is that they want and what they want with you in the connection. I'm getting more emotionally intelligent here. So a more emotionally mature. So this person has definitely gone through a lot to be able to get into this position and place where they feel I'm getting like worthy enough to be in your presence, right? But you may have had questioned your worth, right? And put this person up on a pedestal and this person may have done the same for you, but actually you're very equal. You know, this is gonna be a very equal, balanced, very strong partnership between the two of you, which is really lovely. But this person's dreaming of you or you're dreaming of this person, or this person is dreaming, imagining what it would be like to have more in their life and to have you in it, okay? And now it's like they know that if they don't take action on these certain things, they may feel that they've missed their opportunity or it'll be too late for them to come through and, you know, portray how serious they are about you. And I feel like you know that this person is serious about you, but they just haven't said anything. Like it hasn't come from the horse's mouth as of yet. But I'm hearing in due course, and I'm hearing it won't be long now, actually, um, that this person is going to be relaying this information. And that's going to be quite profound, I'm hearing, for you. So just take it all in your stride when this person does open up and let them talk. Let them get their emotions out there. Just hear them out. And then take time that you need to kind of stew over what's being communicated. But I feel somebody definitely wants to date you, obviously, <laughs> especially if they're already imagining what it would be like to, um, to have something more solid in the future. But anyway, guys, it's all the messages I'm kind of picking up on for you today. Um, so we have Taurus, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Aries, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius coming through again, more Cancer, and um, any other signs that potentially came through earlier? Yeah, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces as well. But we have 333, 444, 1111, 222, 888, 999, 414, 313, 212, 919, wanting to come through. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Anyway, guys, I hope that there were some messages, a few messages, if not the whole reading that potentially resonated here with you guys today. And if you enjoyed the reading and you wish to support myself and the channel, there are donation links available. There is a link in the description box below for a PayPal for the channel. And the other option is super thanks, which is listed underneath of this video. So thank you so much to those of you guys who have already done of this. I'm very grateful. Even if you don't financially um, donate, a wonderful way to energetically donate is to like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll get back to you guys on those comments when I can. So thank you all so much. Please feel free to check out the other Zodiac sign readings for your timeless current energy um, next seven day reads uh, for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mercury, and North node placements to receive more messages. But sending love and light out to you Hope you enjoyed your bonus and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye guys.